where the more you grind, the brighter it gets. But I'm just talking about, it's a really strong colour, isn't it? So it's safer to add a touch of yellow to it, just to sort of um, tone it down a bit. You can always add a more red version on top, but to start with some more toned down art. So start with a very watery version and a dry brush. Don't have a sloppy one because it's so strong that um, just a little wash, as you found, Michael, you know, mm -hmm. the white, it really does stand out. Yeah. So dry your brush a lot so you've got lots of controls and most of them taking off. So places where you put the rose are, obviously around the cheek, but generally around the shadows, where the shadows are. So you go green, orange, then yellow. You, you, you'll have to revisit areas. Don't, don't try to do it all in one go. If you poke around, put a lots of straighten lots lots on that area there, you might lift off what you've got to make a hole. Where you can put a slightly more opaque red is the side of the nose and the lips and the upper, the bottom of the nose and the upper crease of the eye. That can afford to be slightly more opaque. You see, it's quite a nice strong rose there and there. Theo found the Greek was one for really strong um, roses around the nose. A little triangle in the tear gland. A little wash around the upper lid, around here. When you do the, the upper lid, um, the upper lip rather, um, it, let's just say the whole of that's modern in Nirvana, you adjust paint there in the middle. So you just want the middle there, a little bit there. So you want a bit of the Ivana showing at the end, great shadow. So just put it in the middle here. <coughs> and then um, the bottom one, here I've done it all around, but it's quite a good idea just to put the red on one side, a little bit of white. And most of it more of a pink. Yeah, I'd, I'd wipe the vermilion rather than just to the bottom, it out. To the, to the bottom one, yeah. I'll, I'll have to go over it again. Often the top lip is just a pure red, so I'll mix up a little touch of red here. Just a pure red. There's more to do, but I'll just start show you the eye now. So a chestnut for the for the iris, so that's red ochre in black. Primarily black and with a touch of red ochre, it's got to be a sort of a you can have a touch of a van, I suppose. I'm sorry, you see that sort can of, you repeat that again? Um, for the iris? Which, um, a bit of red ochre, white English light red, touch of black and a bit of a van. Quite important to get it right, so just keep fiddling around until it's right. Now, irises are normally slightly oval. If you make them entirely circular, they look quite sort of scary. And there are some icons that are like that, like the one that Martin's doing. It is that sort of early um, silent up thing that you know, really is looking at you. But generally, you tend to flatten it a bit. And now, if, if his head's turning, his head's turning that way, so if he's looking at us, it's got to be slightly to the right. See what I'm getting at? The head's turned, you know, mm -hmm. so you see it's slightly, <coughs> slightly to the right. It's only about the top, touch more weird than that, the top 10, 20% that's cut off. <coughs> Some people have too much cut off, 
and it looks as though he's just about to die. His old eyeballs are rolling <laughs> back. So, yeah. Well, if you don't have anything covered up, then it looks too steer scary again and too scary. It's quite a bit you've got to pack into that little iris there. So that's the general colour there. Then we've got to put a, um, a slightly lighter bit on the inside. As you see, Ralph, what do you notice around the pupil there? Mm, it's lighter. It's lighter, yeah. 